kind. You are patient. You are kind. You are loving. You are selfless. You are loyal. You're caring. You're smart. You're really handsome. You're God-fearing. You're my best friend, my partner, my helpmate. You're my biggest joy. Josie, I love you with all my heart, across oceans and over clouds. Our relationship began 6,000 miles away from each other, but now a new chapter is beginning face to face. I thank the Lord for the love that has bound our hearts and lives together, that we get to express our love to each other as an example of Christ's love for His church. Today, I want to publicly pass on a blessing to my daughter and her new husband. Josie and Aaron, you are not of this earth, yet your God will open door after door on this earth for you. You will see the glory of God upon this earth as you chase after him. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Ronaldson. My beloved daughter, Josie, I am so proud of you. You are a woman who loves the Lord and who loves people. You are often the light that brightens the room. You are full of tenacity, grit, passion, courage, integrity. Your love for God is contagious, and I know that you are leaving my home with the hand of God upon you. Water. Look at what's in front of you. Aaron, I have given you a hard time, and it has been my delight to watch you rise to the occasion and stand under the pressure. You are a man who loves the Lord, loves my daughter, and loves those around him. I have seen your heart and I am proud of you, son. I have seen your attention to detail and your calmness even in the storms. This will serve you well in the future. Time and time again, I've seen Aaron be exactly who Josie needs, whether that be a shoulder to cry on, a calming spirit to her energetic one, a confident or a best friend. Me and Aaron have been friends for so long. And one thing has remained the same during the entirety of our relationship, and that has been his heart for Jesus. His decision to continue, to continue inviting me back to that church, to continue pursuing after me, pursuing after my soul, would end up being a decision that would transform the entire course of my life. And I couldn't be more thankful for I believe that God created you just for me. Your love gives me hope. Your smile gleams like the sun. You make me a better man. And it feels like it is the first time On behalf of the bride and the groom, families, we want to welcome you to this celebration, uh, this ceremony of marriage today. And uh, we are gathered here in the sight of God and the presence of these witnesses. To unite Josie and Aaron, Josephine Camiola and uh, Aaron Ronaldson in holy matrimony. As followers of Jesus Christ, Josephine and Aaron believe that marriage is an honorable estate instituted by God, blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ 
and is to be held in honor among all men. So today and every day forward, I make these vows to you and to Christ. Aaron, I vow to always seek after a Christ-like marriage. I vow to submit to you in reverence to God. I vow to always respect you. I vow to push you towards Christ, because a marriage without God in the center will fail. I vow to seek after a Christ-like love, a love that is patient, kind, not envious, not boastful, not rude, not selfish, not resentful, but rather a love that bears all things, a love that believes all things, a love that hopes all things, and a love that endures all things. I vow today to have all the patience and passion that love demands. In the laughter and in the silence, I'll be forever by your side. Today I join my heart to yours, not simply as your husband, but as your friend, lover, and biggest supporter. Today, I dedicate myself wholly to you. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Aaron, you may kiss your bride. Your relationship has held up over many trials, and after each trial, you have both come out even stronger, more mature, and more dependent on God. Aaron, I am proud that you are my son, and Josie, I am so pleased with you as my daughter, and I think we look forward to the celebration of life together. You're my little sister and I care for you more than I can possibly put into words. I am truly, genuinely excited for both of you and for you to be with the man that you've loved for basically a quarter of your life. And I will always be here for you no matter what. Physical.